Paul, obviously you guys are a different team and so is Arizona State. So when you look at them offensively, what do you notice different from last year? Um, <clears throat> again, they still got a lot of playmakers. Um, you know, the, it all runs with their running back. Benjamin's a great player. Um, probably the best one that we, we've seen up to date uh, as far as the things that he can do with, with the ball in his hands. And I'm sure they'll try to find ways to get him with the ball. But they're talented out on the edge also, too, at their, at their wide outs. And, uh, you know, the quarterback is young, but he's talented, you know. They don't ask him to do a lot. They can get, you know, the ball out of his hands quick to get it to playmakers. And, you know, he's, he's running it pretty good, you know, so far. How's the difference in terms of last year facing a fifth-year guy with a lot of knowledge and the weapon Harry versus what they have right now? Yeah, you know, the thing about it is, is when you watch them, they're not doing a lot of things different, you know. Um, you know, I, again, with him, I'm sure they're not asking him to do a lot. But when you have an electric running back like Benjamin to hand it off to him or throw it to him quick out of the, out of the backfield, those are easy reads, you know, for him to sit there and do. So when you watch them, they're not a lot different from what they were, you know, last year. I'm sure, again, you know, for them, they don't feel the same way you know, uh, as they are preparing. But, you know, as we watch them on film, they're, they're doing the same things. Going back to the, uh, the receivers, Xavier mentioned yesterday that you've been stressing, even without Harry, that group is still pretty talented. What have you been seeing from, from their receivers that can be interesting? Um, you know, they're, they're, they're good sized kids. Um, you know, they, they go after the ball well. Um, they throw it deep, you know, and, and you know, they break tackles. So. Again, anytime you have a, a spread team like that, they make you try to tackle in space. And uh, again, not giving the quarterback a, a lot of things, but giving him options to sit there and throw it. You know, 50-50 balls are always, that's what they are, 50-50 balls. It's easy for them to sit there, know where he wants to go with the ball and throw it up. But very, very talented group. We played against all those guys last year, their experience. Um, you know, but, but again, they, they run well and get after the ball. With you guys in the back, um, you guys had to rotate a lot last year. I mean, how, how fatigued did that make you guys in the back end of the, the fourth quarter, do you think, playing at 108 degree eight? Um, you know, I don't know if it had that much of, of effect. I think, again, their game plan early was get us run, you know, running east and west, and then, you know, taking their shots a little bit later. They took more shots a little bit later, but they were also down, you know, also too. So. I don't know, you know, we kind of try to rotate guys all the way through, uh, depending on how the game is going, but I don't think that affected us any. Yeah. How would you assess Henderson through two weeks so far as exceeding your expectations back there? You know what, uh, doing the things we're asking him to do, um, you know, at that position, you got to tackle well. And that's the one thing that he's doing well is he's tackling well. That, that interception, was that a product of learning from the mistake on, the, on giving up the leverage on the one play, or was it just right place, right time? Uh, <clears throat> again, it's a play that we work on, um, you know, a lot. It's kind of, kind of what we call a universal play that a lot of people sit there and do. Um, you know, he knew right after giving up the first one that he lost his leverage, just stayed inside leverage. Uh, but again, preparation, good preparation on his part. Seems like a kid who could make adjustments pretty quickly, too. Yeah, and he's, he's hard on himself and, you know, smart kid, though, so he picks up on it and... You know, like I said, he came right off the field and knew exactly what he did, right and wrong. The guys have some fun with Josiah about that missed interception on film. Yeah, we watched that one a couple times, you know. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's funny because we, st we stress so much on getting down the near sideline and everything. And it's funny how you, got, you watch guys catch interceptions and they go across the field. They go where everybody else is and still – so we were teasing him just like you dropped it because you ain't know where near sideline was because he was in the middle. But, yeah, we had fun with that one. Do you feel like Arizona State, because they've had trouble running the ball with some of the young guys they've had on the offensive line, is going to be – I know they try to do some empty sets starting out. Do you feel like they're going to try to short passing game and that type of thing? So tackling in space is a big deal for you. Yeah, I, I think everyone, you know, regardless of who it is, um, you know, with, with how stout we are, you know, in the middle, you know, you look at Western game plan, you look at Tulsa's game plan, you look at everybody's game plan against us. Um, you know, they're going to challenge us on the edges. Uh, and it's not so much as just always deep balls, but uh, tackling in space in those one-on-one -on -one situations. Getting the ball out quick, that takes the, 
again, the defensive line out of the game plan and stuff like that. So, um, you know, we prepare for that all the time, and I think we're going to get that all the time. It is a quick guy like Levante Bellamy last week, a good primer for a guy like uh, Benjamin. This oh, week. yeah, no doubt. Um, again, just get the ball, find ways to get him the ball 15, 20 times, I'm sure, you know, in different ways and not just hand it off in between the tackles. When you uh, kind of – did I see some dime coverage for you guys last week? Was that my eyes playing tricks, like a couple extra D-backs in there? Uh, Michael Dow's playing our Viper. Okay. Um, so, again, that was – uh, so really, technically, we have six DBs out there. So it's just a body type, you know, that we put in there at our Viper. And what? Because I think you've kind of used a couple different guys, even when you're nickel, like McDowell and Gervin, a couple times. Is that just going to be a rotational thing, situational thing? Yeah, we, you know, all through fall camp, we rep three or four dudes at our at our nickel spot. And again, when you lose lose a guy like Kari, you know, you got to keep trying out you know, a bunch of different guys. So, yeah, it, it'll be, you know, kind of by committee a little bit. Speaking of rotations, do you think you'll have uh, Gervin or Shaq this week? I know Shaq wasn't even dressed, and then Gervin kind of got banged up, I think, a little bit late. Yeah, those guys are good. Okay. What have you seen from these younger guys like Michael and Kalen getting their first taste, really? You know what? Um, the, the best thing, again, I, I think Coach told our, our guys, you know, sometimes when you got little kids, you guys just throw them in the water. You know, and and that's what we're doing with those guys is throwing them in the water a little bit. And, and um, those guys have stepped up to the challenge. They've done a good job, um, you know, not giving them a lot of things to do, um, you know, trying to put them in situations where they can be successful and, and, and things like that. And those guys have done well. Do you guys try to manage that, knowing how many guys are going to be gone next year, getting these guys in with a veteran group rather than just kind of inundating them next year? You know what? Uh, you try to, you know, but we don't have too many. Uh, our games are close, <laughs> you know, a lot of times. So when you get in those situations and get younger dudes, I mean, Davion played, Chris Jackson played in that game. So it's always good to be able to rotate, you know, those guys in. And again, that you, you never know how they're going to do until you throw them out there in the deep end, you know, and then you got to go catch them, you know, some of the times. But you would never know until they get out there. Paul, you've had opportunities at coaching defensive backs where it was pretty sparse on talent. Do you ever look at that room, at the amount? I mean, you got guys who may play in the NFL that probably won't even see the field. Do you look at that room and sometimes just shake your head at the wealth of riches and that you have? Yeah, it's it's a it's a talented group, um, you know. And we know again we're going to get challenged even more, um, you know, here again with what we've done with stopping the run. Um, so it's week in and week out. We sit there and we talk, overstress our fundamentals and technique because that's really what it's going to come down to. Um, but they're a fun group, fun, fun, talented group. You notice that, I mean, even game one, Shaq was coming off the edge on a couple of corner blitzes. I mean, what does he bring at that spot that allows you guys to do that with him? You know, I think all <clears> those guys, and, you know, we've always had, you know, a corner blitz, you know, here, you know, even Justin and, and, and Josh and, and even Josiah coming off coming off the edge. So there's no such thing as a cover corner anymore. You know, you got to be able to tackle and, and blitz and do all the things that, that we asked him to do. Josh Butler's had a couple of pass interferences a couple times. Maybe he got a, lost a little confidence while the ball's in the air, lost, wasn't able to track it or whatever. They went deep on him once, and I thought he, he covered that post pretty well, but also had another PI. How, how, how's he coming along, and what are you doing to get him to the next level here? He's, he's doing a good job. And again, we never over. <clears throat> you know, gripe about the pass interference calls because they're, you know, as long as long as you're in position and you're being aggressive, those things happen, you know, because those are calls and that can't happen all the time. Um, but he did learn from week one to week two because we knew we were going to get challenged a little bit more than what we thought we did against Western from Tulsa because that was really our game plan and Western is throwing the ball, we thought, anywhere from 12 to 15 times down the field. So. Uh, had an opportunity for an interception, but um, coming along good. And you watch him last year, that was the one thing that he did well was play the deep ball. You know? yeah, was he had a good game against Arizona State last year. I remember that yeah. break up on the sideline. Yeah, which, which again was, was balls. These guys are going to challenge us down the field also too. So um, we know, again, we got we to gotta make plays on the deep ball. Well, yeah. what's the mentality when you know that, like you said, you are probably going to be challenged even by a freshman quarterback yeah. because they're kind of – Defense backs looking around at each other like, all right, like, 
let's do this. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's uh you know it's it's fun and it's and and we again it's a it's a challenge that we have to accept. It's a challenge that we that we accept. We know again that's the part of our world. That's our job description. Um, you know, is is we got to tackle well in space. We got to stop the quick game. You know, because again, if you let a a young quarterback just complete a lot of short passes, uh, he gets comfortable. You know, also too. So there's a lot of things that. Uh, that are in our job description that we, you know, picks and all those things are, uh, you know, are great and everything, but there's also, too, the, the grind of it, of, of doing the, the little things right also, too, that we got to, we know that we got to accept and, and, and doing well, you know, in this defense. You guys get with Coach? Yeah.